Hey guys, I'm Sakura and I'm one of the co-founders of BlogX. Today I'm going to show you guys how to batch edit in Lightroom today. So here we are in Lightroom um, and Lightroom is great because basically you edit the look and feel for all your photos. Today we're going to be editing all the photos that we took at um, our Sedona BlogX retreat. So when you want to edit um, a bunch of photos at once. It's typically something like this where I took a bunch of the same thing but I wanted to get a different angle. So really the look and feel, I want to make it all look the same. It's going to be annoying to have to go in and edit every little detail um, for every single photo. So we're gonna start off by editing one of the photos. So let's do this guy. I'm going to add a preset. Um, that I like the most. Let's do that one, okay? Uh, we're going to go ahead and go on to the right-hand side and make sure you guys are in the develop module in your Lightroom. I'm going to maybe lower the brightness just a tiny bit, um, add a little bit of contrast, do whatever you need to do um, to make your that specific photo looking pretty. Uh, perhaps let's make this guy a little bit more pink. So I'm gonna grab this tool, make sure the saturation tab's on, and I'm going to click. It's a little tool that I have. Um, and just make it a little bit more pink. And let's see, maybe get rid of a little bit of the shadows. Um, and let's just the clarity a little bit. Okay, maybe make it a tiny bit brighter. Okay, so say I'm really happy with the look and feel of this specific photo and I literally want to paste it on all the other photos. Here it is, here's the photo that I was just editing. I'm gonna hold shift and let's see, that's the last photo of it. So I'm going to click back, select this photo, hold shift, and select all those photos with the same product, same setting. Now all you have to do is go on the right hand side and hit sync. This window will open up and basically you're telling them exactly what you want to sync. So what tool, what um, setting you want to sync. And basically I want it to sync everything. So I, maybe if you don't want it to do the same crop, maybe uncheck crop um, and just hit synchronize. And what it's doing right now, as you can see, is it's adding the same look and feel. Now, it's really important for you to go back and go through each and every one of those photos because every photo has a little bit of different um, brightness or exposure, contrast. So you wanna go back and edit to make sure that it looks, they all look really good. So let's filter through. That looks good. That looks good. Maybe for this one, if I wanted to add a little bit more light, I can go in and add a little bit more light. Okay. Go next. Maybe for this one, I want to crop, so I can add, I can crop it. And you can go back and edit those little adjustments, but as far as the whole entire look and feel, you just pasted it on all the photos. So that's really it when, it's co when it comes to batch editing. If you guys have any questions regarding this video, go ahead and comment below. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks guys, bye.